welcome to our Raspberry Pi Build It Day. Thank you all very much for coming. We held an application pitch challenge here at Illinois Tech in November. Now we had the students come up with prototypes of their initial ideas and they didn't disappoint. Raspberry Pi is a small computer, which is like the size of a credit card. We're able to program it, hook up sensors, hook up anything you can really think of. So it's really interesting to see what they've developed as far as real systems that can do something for the business world. One of the winning teams that competed in November was the Leaf, Leaf Leapers. Leapers, which is using Raspberry Pi to jump in leaves. I'll write some code to analyze if there are enough leaves on the ground based on the amount of yellows, orange, and red pixels. The next thing we'll need is a temperature and humidity sensor. I'm curious to see what she's done. I wonder where she's going to get leaves to test. The thing is, how it's spring now. Oh, yeah, I wanted to show how the program would work in different conditions. And since there aren't any leaves outside now, I thought I'd print out some pictures and bring it here. So the white here, this is what it counted as orange pixels. And then you can see the temperature, the humidity. They were crisp enough to jump in. I'm Michelle. Hi. Matthew. I'd be very interested in the 2D plotter that can switch pens and, and really do something really creative, artistic stuff. My project will print off a um, completely original art piece based off some input you give it. So these are linear motion shafts here. They can also be used for visualizations of data. That's really exciting. There's a few goals to this program. One is using technology to solve problems. People have a lot of problems with being robbed. So what this jacket is, it's a personal surveillance system. This jacket can help catch the actual person who robbed you. Or it's for gang violence and right. stuff like that. The camera is built into the jacket. We're trying to sell them and see how it'll work in the real world for people to be safe. Well, this is very creative, guys. I applaud you. That drone over there looks pretty cool. The drone helps farmers so they can check on their crops at farther distances. We're attaching two cameras onto the drone. So we have a regular camera, then we have an infrared camera. Now let's work together and stay strong together. I know we're going to win. I really love the video game ideas. I never knew there were so many possibilities. We will be making an arcade cabinet for Raspberry Pi. I haven't built an arcade cabinet before. So it was really interesting experience trying to design one in AutoCAD. It allows for the work of artists and programmers from 35 years ago to be rediscovered and enjoyed by people today. Our idea was to bring back retro gaming. We also bring back memories like, oh, I remember when I had this game when I was five. The really, really fun part was just making it happen. Okay, I'm feeling really okay. Good stuff, guys. The main goal is that we would be able to have like pretty much all of our friends in the game. I named it Goon Squad because that's what we call our friend group. So the people in the game are meant to be part of the Goon Squad. My brother actually did all of the sound effects for this. He made the armor sound hitting a toaster, and then he got a bunch of glasses out and he started hitting them with forks and stuff, and it makes this really cool mystical sound. You're hitting a force field that's kind of mystical and magical. Self-driving cars use computer vision to interpret the world around it and respond with the movement of the car, such as falling or obstacle avoidance. This robot, it tries to reorient itself to get the face in the center of the camera. If I move over this way, it tries to follow my face. So there we have a live camera feed from over here. So what we were thinking of doing is mounting a display on it, so it would be a $100 remote presence robot that allows you to visit other places and talk to other people through a camera, microphone, display. The idea of our project was to build a chess AI that you can play against in real life. And when you move a piece, the camera will detect the move and the computer AI will play against you on a monitor. We decided to build our own AI and we put some randomization so it doesn't do the same moves every time you do a move. I want to see what that giant safe over there is. It's like a camera inside and it was really interesting. And the way they presented it I thought was very innovative of having you open the safe and then they showed how you know it took my picture so that if I were breaking into a house that would have been emailed to the owner. There's ideas there that not only for the household but for commercially as well. I say it'll be the future of banking. 
my son Vince and his two friends wanted to go ahead and try their hand at inventing something different. And it was this digital refrigerator. So him and his two friends have been working at this project for several weeks. Late at night, early in the morning, on weekends, Skyping with each other. And they were really excited about it. And I, I gotta tell you, I was pretty impressed. They did a great job. For the first place finisher for the sensor category, I'd like to bring Whitney Young's Leaf Leapers up to the stage to collect their prize. Congratulations. And in the artistic category, I'd like to welcome Glenbork South's STEM LC up to the stage. Programs like this benefit kids because it gives them the experience early that they need. Trying to problem solve, critical thinking, being creative. They already got experience that they can put on their resume and they can apply to uh, their career in technology. Keep having fun, keep jumping in.